Right now, being around other guys, you know, seeing, seeing the level of, of talent that's in our room, you know, I feel uh, I feel ecstatic about what we can really do. What do you notice about the mindset here, just the organization, and kind of what they're trying to achieve here? It's Super Bowl or bust. You know, I think, uh, you know, I think that was part of my decision in coming here, you know, understanding that, um, you know, my, my football age is getting up there, you know, and, uh, you know, to be a part of something special, to be a part of uh, truly going for it all, to be a part of, um, you know, doing something different. Uh, you know, with an organization like this was, was a big reason for being here. And then once you get here, you know, you can feel it, you know, in the building, the way that people talk, the way that people act, the way that people treat you. Um, first class all the way around and just doing everything, it, you know, everything is geared towards uh, playing February New Orleans. Was that kind of the perspective of the team? How does it change when you prepare for the offseason, prepare for the regular season, prepare for camp? It doesn't. You know, I think uh, when you're a pro, when you go about things the right way, uh, that's always how you look at it. It's always how you approach everything. You know, um, every year I've ever played in this league, it's Super Bowl or bust every year until it's not, you know. So um, I take that approach into every offseason with how I take care of my body to how, I, to how I'm training, to uh, the things I'm doing to put myself in the best position to when I get here, I'm hitting the ground running and being exactly who they, you know, think I am or even better. Um, so um, it doesn't change the thought process. You know, everybody, you know, from the you know, top to the bottom uh, is looking at it as an opportunity to, to just go out every day and, and work the way you know to work and understand that, you know, we all with the collective mindset of where we want to go, if we all work that way, you know, we'll be exactly where we want to be at the end of the summer. What do you think ego is? Because, you know, you just mentioned it's the football age. You know? Yeah, uh, I think I can do it all. Uh, at this point in your career? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. No doubt about it. Uh, I have zero uh, doubt in myself to be a you know, dominant three-down guy, to be out there, go, go play against the run, and then on third down, uh, make money as a pass rusher. So, yeah, no, zero doubt in, in anything I can do at this point in my career. I mean, that's essentially your game, the run, right? Yeah, no, listen, I, th I think I do it all well. I think, uh, you know, so sometimes, you know, analytics or whatever get involved in, in, in the way we look at tape, but, you know, Anytime I step out there and, and, and put my hand in the dirt, you know, I feel like I'm a dominant three-down guy. And, uh, you know, I look forward to continuing that thought process and putting that on film for display. I know it hasn't been that long, but now getting to know Coach Lou Anarumo here and his system, how do you think you fit into it? Yeah, no, um, I think I fit in perfectly. I think I'm, I think I'm a great piece, you know, to what's already been established here. You know, I think there's some great players here who, um, you know, I'm not coming in here to – to take over anything, I'm, I'm coming here to, to add a presence, you know, and I think I fit right in, uh, you know, whether it's my temperament, everything I've been through as a football player, my knowledge of the game, and then my abilities, all that married into one, you know, I think that, that fits right into what we want to do on defense. In your introductory press conference here, you made everyone laugh when you talked about how you asked head coach Zach Taylor, why don't you slide this year? Have you gotten any more insight to that? No, I have not. Um, I pretty much always get the same, same run around answer. We, you know, we just five seconds in the answer and we just kind of end up laughing about it. Uh, and that's fine. That's cool. Um, <laughs> you know, he don't got to have a real answer for it because, to be honest, there was no, I mean, I, there's not going to be a good answer for it, to be completely honest. Uh, so, yeah, no, I mean, we just kind of, you know, laugh about it. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that uh, played some part in uh, me being here. So, yeah, no, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Uh, so the crazy thing is I know him going back to his time at Clemson. Uh, he recruited me out of high school um, when he was at Clemson. Um, he coached Grady Jarrett, who's a good friend of mine, DJ, you know, same thing. Um, so uh, I've always, you know, heard great things. I know great things about him. And just being in the meeting room with him and being out in the field with him now, uh, understanding his attention to detail, understanding his passion uh, for pushing players to be, you know, as, as good as they can be. Um, you know, that's what really stands out, and I'm looking forward to, to having a, a great working relationship this year.